What's going on everyone? Welcome back to our Arizona Diamondbacks franchise mode. We are in the month of May. We just lost our first series in like two weeks. The Cincinnati Reds is completely fine sitting in second place in our division as well as the second wild card spot right now. We're right behind the Phillies. I think we're going to overtake them soon. Uh, they just have one less loss than us, so no big deal there. I think we'll be able to pass them this season. Do we play them this month? We do not. We do not play the Phillies this month, no. Uh, but either way, I did make a few changes. We made a trade in between episodes as well as some roster moves because of that trade and just because I wanted to send some players up and down. Uh, so first things first, the trade that we made was with the LA Dodgers. We sent out Miguel Sano as well. Uh, yeah, we sent out Miguel Sano, Ryan Bliss, and Gene Walters for catcher Diego Cartea, uh, who is the number 20 prospect in the league, as well as prospect Andy Pages. So Miguel Sano has not played at all this season. And he probably isn't going to. Patrick Wisdom basically can be hims. And we got fucking Sheho. So we have Otani. So I'm not too worried about it. Uh, so Miguel Sano shipped out. We sent away B prospect Ryan Bliss. He's 24, 66 overall. Uh, it was an older prospect. He's one of our older prospects. So I just wanted to get a little bit of a younger one. Shipped out Bl uh, Bliss. Um, and then we also sent out third baseman Gene Walters. He was batting like 191 or something like that down in double A. Fucking get him out of here. He's 22-56 overall. Uh, when you look, though, at the prospects that we got in, the right fielder, Andy Pages. All right. B potential, 23 years of age, 69 overall. All right. So this dude could be called up to the MLB if needed, but we needed a right field prospect for the minor league, or we needed a right fielder really for the minor league. We don't have a lot of uh, right fielders at all, so this was more of a, I need a prospect over in right field. What do you guys got? I need an outfielder. Uh, and they put him on the fucking trading block, so that also helps. So we got that. Uh, he was kind of an addition to the trade. I wasn't aiming to get him. The one I really wanted uh, was the catcher. Uh, Diego Cartea, he is batting 300 down in the minor leagues. Only one home run this season, but batting 300 is stellar. Uh, the reason I want to get him is because now we have a top prospect in case Moreno gets hurt or in case Moreno just is some, just offered or wants some stupid amount of money of some kind. Uh, so that is it right now. So that was the trades. When it comes to the roster moves, what I did is because we shipped out Miguel Sano, we lost an MLB roster spot. We had to call somebody up. So what I did was I called up the Vision de los Santos. Now, I wish they kept the minor league stats down here so you guys could see, but he was batting 300 down in the minor league system. He was red hot. Dude is killing it. Calling him back up. He can hit. He can kind of field. He's got some speed. Really needs to kind of work on that vision, discipline, and clutch primarily. But this De, De, uh, De Los Santos, I think, is ready. He's only going to be batting against righties. He will be on the bench against lefties. So that is, uh, I think that's all we're it for right now. Yeah. Oh, right. We also moved Division De Los Santos over to first base. That moves uh, Guriel back into his primary position of left field. So reaction time out in the outfield isn't going to be the greatest. But it'll be okay. Uh, let's move on to the first. Oh, player of the month. That's right. I never even looked at that. So real quick, because I didn't do it last episode either. These were the uh, award winners for last season. So the MVP last season was Austin Riley of the Atlanta Braves. The Cy Young went to Atlanta's Kyle Wright. Batting tile went to Brandon Donovan. A.J. Minter gets the 2023 uh, Reliever of the Year. Rookie of the Year was Brennan Davis of the Cubs. Hank Aaron is Bryce Harper. And then these are the Gold Glovers.
Yeah, postseason MVP, Austin Riley as well. World Series MVP, Orlando Arcia. All right, American League MVP went to Jake DeGrom, Cy Young, Jake DeGrom, batting title, Alejandro Kirk. All right, reliever of the year, Jordan Romano, rookie of the year, Grayson Rodriguez, Hank Aaron went to Aaron Judge, second year in a row. Gold gloves again. All right, postseason MVP went to Max Kepler, World Series MVP still stays the same. Uh, so going back, player of the month for April. All right, for the month of April for the American League, pitcher of the month went to Lance McCullers going 4-0 over five games, 2.23 ERA and 28 strikeouts. Player of the month uh, was Aaron Judge, 93 at-bats, batting 366, nine home runs and 26 RBI. So Judge is killing it to start this year. Rookie of the month goes to Max Schumann. Of the uh, Oakland Athletics, 55 at bats, batting 327, one home run, and nine RBIs, a 64 overall, dude. This dude is killing it up in the MLB at that overall. Jeez. Okay, at the National League, pitcher of the month goes to Zach fucking Gallon. Yeah, going four and once across seven games, a 1.39 ERA and 61 strikeouts. Zach Gallon is a beast. Player of the month goes to Jonathan India, 84 at bats, batting 440. Uh, nine home runs and 21 at bats. Jesus, Jonathan India, nine home runs. What happened? This dude is just taking off. He is in a breakout season. Down year 2022. Last season gets he improves a little bit. This season just fucking taking off. And then rookie of the month, Pittsburgh Pirates. I told you these guys are gonna be. It's gonna be stupid. The NL Pittsburgh Pirates and the uh, Arizona Diamondbacks were probably gonna be the one-two uh, in the future. We're going to be battling it out for the World Series, well, NL championship to get to the World Series. But Justin Swanson, third baseman uh, for the Pittsburgh Pirates, 104 at-bats, batting 255 home runs and 15 RBI. So that is going to do it for the awards of the month. And without further ado, we're going to head on to a six-game road stretch against the Miami Marlins and then the Milwaukee Brewers. So, Triple H, yep, just auto-fixed the lineups. Jack Leader. Uh, McCarthy has a 12-game hitting streak going. All right. Let's see if we can get a little bit of a comeback here with a base hit with Chris, uh, Jake McCarthy. 12-game hitting streak, trying to go 13. That, now, that's a leadoff guy for you. Dude who gets on base. Leading off for the diamond. 12 straight games, too. Like hit into a fielder's choice one. earlier. Top Jay. of the seventh. McCarthy. Down by three. We've got Jack Leader. I thought he was... Uh, isn't he a Texas Rangers prospect? I think he is. Did he get traded over there? No. There you go. Base hit. That's going to be a double. Bounce to the left. Oh, it doesn't bounce to the left. But that is going to be a double. Ball gets away from him. Oh, I could have fucking went three. I thought the pitcher was going to be standing there. Yeah, 13 game hitting streak now for Jake McCarthy. That's what I fucking love. Now Christian Walker up, one, two count. No outs. We are on second. Strike out. All right. It's fine. One out. Still fine. Gabriel Moreno. Wow, we got 13 of the top 100 prospects in the MLB's updated rankings. Oh my God, the future is so bright here and for the Diamondbacks. It's stupid. Damn, just got underneath the ball, I think. Or he was the early. Might have been a mix of both. Gabriel Moreno, 5-3 ground out, 0 for 2 today. He's due, 2-2 two -two count. Now we got the speed. He's going to advance us. All right, he advances us at least. Up next to the Diamondbacks, the center fielder, Corbin. So now we're on third. A base hit's going to tie or score a run, cut the lead in half. 
Let's go. We're not really the lead in half. Be down by two. That's Bolton. Gonna fuck with the pitcher a little bit. There, huh? Oh, left us in a scoring position. Bastard. Bastard. It's fine. Alright. Come on, boys. We get the dub. Solo home run, but no. We got a solo home run at the end of the game, but. No, we're going to lose 4-2 to the Miami Marlins. Damn. Jack Leader pitched eight innings, I think it just said. Fuck. So we're going to start this series and road trip with an L to the Marlins. And we're going to get swept. Fuck, man. Are you serious? We got swept. By the Marlins. Oh, not how you want to start this episode. All right. So now we got to fly all the way from Miami to the north up in Milwaukee. 18, 17. They're in a similar situation from us. I think we can win all three. Can we? We get. We start off with a dub. Okay, 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 okay. All right. Get a second dub. There we go. We're going to bounce back strong. Up to nothing. McCarthy, 16 game hitting streak now. Let's go. Let's go. We're first in the league for strikeouts. 320. Come on. The right we got this. Number 31, Jake McCarthy. All right, come on now. 16 time. game hitting streak. Up now. Looking to get on base with two outs. That's the ball. One ball. No straight. You got a ground out and two fly outs so far in this game. Oh! Get down, get down, get down, get down, get down. He's attacking the top of the zone. Hit into left field. Solid contact. Yeah, but that's going to be out. And that might do it for McCarthy's hitting streak today. And it will. McCarthy will not continue his winning streak, but we still win. Let's go. I mean, no one really cares about the winning streak. Unless, well, 16 games. I, I do care about the hitting streak, but I'm saying the win is more important than a hitting streak. Uh, Aaron Nola, player of the game. Five strikers across eight innings. Four hits, one walk, one earned run. All right. So we sweep the Milwaukee Brewers following getting swept by the Miami Marlins. I think that's... No, we got swept here in Colorado, but that's a two-game series. We have never been swept, really, I would say. I, I mean, I don't really count a two-game series too much as, like, anything. But Miami Marlins, first series all season that our team has been swept. Damn. Uh, I mean, damn. All right. How is uh, De Los Santos doing so far? So 16 at-bats. I told you he's ready. 16 at-bats, he's got six hits, he's got his first MLB home run, three walks, two strikeouts, batting 375, OPS of 1.036. Oh my god, De Los Santos starting off hot. Now we got up against the New York Mets, Verlander, Quintana, and Scherzer. Ooh, Verlander and Scherzer. That's going to be a little tough. That's going to be tough, but uh, I think 
I think we can win the series for sure against the New York Mets. Uh, auto fix the lineups. Man, Triple A is getting hurt. Uh, bottom of the seventh. Mead is a single away. Ooh, a single. Let's fucking go, Mead. Let's fucking get you your single, Mead. It's your pitch, huh? Now batting. Alrighty. Curtis Mead. All he's looking for is a single. Hit his first home run of the season today. Bases loaded, one out. First pitch is going to be a called strike. It's fine. I'm trying to get more patient with these guys. That's why I'm taking more pitches. I don't know if you guys have seen that this episode. Spot. One and two. Okay, take a rip, like you can. Here you go, baby. Yeah. That would have been a double, maybe a triple. Probably more of a double if that would have gone down, but. Uh, I mean, that's going to be a sack fly. Maybe he gets a chance to hit in the ninth. Oh, he almost didn't score that shit. So sack fly for Curtis Mead. Best we could do. Fine with that. I'm fine with that. And we will get the dub. There wasn't really a doubt that we would get the dub against these uh, New York Mets. Curtis Mead, just a single shy of the cycle. No idea if he, I don't think he's hit for the cycle in his career yet. All right, so apparently we just got the fucking New York Mets number. 10 runs for it, 14 runs for it. What's it gonna be here? We, we're probably due for a comeback. Uh, double A injury, yeah, pullback. Uh, we do win the series, 4-1 loss to the New York Mets there. We split or win the series 2-3 to three here at home. Three more games at home against a below 500 Chicago Cubs. They're going to be very feisty trying to get it back above 500. Big first dub, 8-1. to one. Jesus, Gurriel, 12-game hitting streak. Yeah. Try to keep Guriel hot. At least. Now batting. The left fielder. Lourdes. Guriel. Oh, there you go. Solid line drive streak continued. Now I'm just going to simulate out the now rest of this because I don't think anything else is going to happen. Oh, yeah, 13 oh. game inning streak now for Guriel. Fucking line drive almost took off that dude's head. He's fine. Oh, they're going to hit it to me. Shit. Guy on first, no outs. Full count. Nice little line drive to right field, or left field, my bad. Pop out, pop, fly out, good, ground out, fly out, strike out. 
Uh, at least we kept Guriel's uh, hitting streak alive. I guess that's something. That's something. <sighs> Jesus. Jeez. Hitting streaks galore. McCarthy had his fucking 16. Guriel's now on 13. Meade going to hit for the cycle. This is a fucking crazy month. Up 4 nothing, Lazardo. One out. Oh, man. This is where shit could really hit the fan. Man on second and third. One out. Nico Horner is up to bat. This dude, all he does is hit. All Horner now does bad. is get second on base. base. Like, Nico Horner. Try to get the the guy at the base didn't work. I told you, Nico you Corner, all he does is get base hits. Scored both runs. Scored both runs with bullshit fucking hits. Lazardo's out. Helsley's in. Fuck You're you guys. Y'all are going to hit into a double play. Number 56. Ryan. Helsley. Right down the middle. Strike three. Circle chain. See ya, Dansby. <laughs> Two strikes. Throw another high fastball to you. I got three and two. All right, fastball. Right down the fucking middle. You fucking see? You saw that shit? A fastball. The fucking indicator isn't even like that far away from the middle. We're that close to the middle. Oh, no. But either way, get to the quick management. Corbin Carroll grounds out. Duran grounds out. De Los Santos grounds out. Get a pitching change. Put in Josh Hader. Three Chuck grounds out. Hap strikes out. Davis gonna fly out. And get the dub. Hader's gonna get the save. We're gonna move on with another fucking series win. We want this was for the series, wasn't it? Against the Cubs, or is this game two? Oh, my memory. My memory. Alright. So that was for the series win. So we win the series against the Cubs. Fucking amazing. Keep this shit on a roll. We're not winning, like, we're not sweeping a lot of series. Like, we only have two series sweeps, but, I mean, if we keep winning all these series, it doesn't really matter. We in Oh, the Marlins. Yeah, the Marlins team that swept us pushed us over the edge. If we would have beat them even once, even once, we'd be the first wild card spot right now. We did it to ourselves. So we are going to be heading on the road. Three-game series against the Seattle Mariners. Start off with a L. Okay. All right. Seattle. 14 game hitting streak for Guriel. Man on first. Two outs. And we're losing. Not good. Nah, good. 
Hey, drive him in. No one better right here. The batter, the left fielder, Lourdes Guriel. Wait for your pitch up there, huh? Breathe, Guriel. Breathe. Ground out, two ground. Oh, he's got two ground outs, a fly out, and a strikeout hey. today. Throwing some four seamers high. The second baseman hey, can't field for on, Seattle. Now back, Thank you. Designated hitter, and that will be a single 15 oh, game hitting streak now for Lourdes Gurriel. Let's go, buddy. Shohei Otani up to bat 0 and 1. Two outs. Did they pick off the dude at second? Get Otani over at first. Still down by two. Going on into the ninth. Ground out. All right. Double for Bichette. Line out. And we are not going to be a tie in the ninth. We're going to lose to Seattle. What's happening here? Oh, fuck you guys. Doing their little celly. Do their little dancey dance. All right. Yep, just auto it again. Try not to get swept against the Seattle Mariners. We don't. Fuck yes, we get a dub. We got one at least. Real quick, I want to make sure no one's getting sent up and down in our my like in our AAA. No one here is from the MLB roster. Good. And double A. Good. Good, 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 good. All right, so keep on moving. Now back at home, four game. Actually, this is going to be seven game uh, home stretch. Four against the Atlanta Braves, three against the Miami Marlins. They swept uh, the Marlins swept us earlier in the month. We're looking for a little bit of revenge here at home. And Atlanta, if we can get some wins on them, we might get a little bit closer to just leading the whole league. Right now, they're 30 and 17. We're 27 and 20. It's a close record. We got the home field advantage. Let's fucking do it. Start this week off right. Tie game, bottom of the ninth. Guriel, 16 game hitting streak. We scored two runs to tie it in the eighth. Two outs. Nobody better. Stay high. Nobody better right there. Huh. Start off O one. That's a ball. One and one. Hey, keep it going. Stay hot, huh? Hey! Four and three fastballs all the way. To, all right. Ah, oh, too much underneath it. I went down too much. Couldn't straighten it out. That'll be it for the ninth. We might get another at bat. 
I mean, we'll be on second to start extra innings. So we should get an extra at bat, maybe. De Los Santos gets in at third. Yeah, and I was replaced. All right. So quick manage. Chafin, we are going to take you out. Romantiply. Got Hernandez on second. Albies. Got a pinch runner. How is our pop out, ground out? Now we have Ronald Cunha Jr. batting and on second. Hits a two run home run. He hit himself in for what the fuck just happened. De Los Santos, strikeout, Mateo strikes out. Carroll hits a single, scoring uh, De Los Santos. McCarthy hits into a fielder's choice and caught stealing. So Ronald Cunha Jr. The final line score for our ball game tonight for the victorious Atlanta Braves, five runs, 10 hits, no errors. They left 10 men on base. For the Diamondbacks, four runs on nine hits, no errors. They left six men on base. Time of the ball game, three hours and 46 minutes. Thank you for joining us here tonight. That was bullshit. That was bullshit. Ronald Cunha. Subbed in at second. Now up to bat, Ronald Acuna. Two run home run. Fuck you. That was stupid. Uh, Guriel, 17 game hitting streak is on the line. Man, can we get this dude to 20? Now batting, the left fielder, Lorde. Here we go, one time, like a big dog. Got a boy. That's out. Hey, good eye, good eye, kid. Punch up, drive me in for it. There it is. Line drive. That's going to score one. Oh, fucking cannon. Oh, he got him. What a fucking cannon. Is that Michael Harris? It was Michael Harris. Oh, what a fucking cannon. Rojas. We still get the dub. Doesn't matter. Guriel's hitting streak now up to 17. But the final line score for the ball game tonight. First for the victorious Diamondbacks. Seven runs on 12 hits. No errors. They left 12 men on base. All right, so we go. All right, we tie the series. One, one, two more. We're going to split the series against the Atlanta Braves. I think that's fair enough. Braves are a really good team. To split the series with them, that's honestly pretty fucking good. We even beat out fucking Kyle Wright, the Cy Young winner. But uh, now this is the revenge series. It's time for fucking revenge. Miami, Marlins, fuck you. Let's sweep them. That's one dub. Guriel, 20 game hitting streak. 20 game winning streak. Now back. 20 game hitting streak. The left fielder, Lourdes. He's one for five with a home run and an RBI. He grounded out earlier. 
He's leading our team with 57 hit. Oh. oh I chased that one. I left that hanging fucking ball. Could have hit a fucking home run. And I let I swing at that. Uh, Outside, that's a ball. Attaboy, good lead. Fuck you, Ronaldo Lopez. I'm getting on base, bitch. Damn it! Too too much. for the ball game tonight. First for the victorious Diamondbacks. Three runs, five hits, no errors. They left nine runs. All right, we get the dub. Three nothing Miami. We're up two now on this. We're up. We got a chance. Sweep them. Let's fucking do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Yeah. Fucking revenge series against Miami at home. Fuck you guys. Big, huge fucking dubs that's what i like to see we're catching up to uh the dodgers too right now still game behind the mets now instead of the phillies all right so big game against san francisco four game stretch then we head on into detroit big lead off win duvall's trying to close you out one out first and second de la santos up camilo duvall I mean, he's having a really good season in real life. Really fucking good. He might be one of the best closers in the league. His cutter is stupid. Now batting. The first baseman. So we got speed on first. We got speed on second. Four speed. Would that be enough for me to bunt and go? You think? No. Probably not. Throw nothing but cutters. I told you this dude likes cutters. I... Right up the fucking middle. Go home. Go home. You got the speed. And that's a tie game. De La Santos, RBI single, ties the game. Division De La Santos. Who I like to see. They're going to take out Duval for Jacob Junis now. Alright, 3.18 ERA, 51 innings pitch. Just strikeouts. 40 strikeouts, 17 walks. So this guy's probably like a ground baller. He, he's okay with contact, trust your defense kind of philosophy. Oh and one. He was close. De Los Santos ties the game, gets us to extra innings, ground out by Curtis Mead because of my impatience. Well, that's just fine. So, bottom of the ninth, Tate. 
leadoff solo home run for Slater. Should have subbed him out. Should have subbed him out. Oh, we're going to lose 3-2. My fault. My fault. I'm taking the blame here for this love. Loss. This loss. <laughs> All right, so keep on going. Hater, tied game. Estrada. Oh, Hater blew it. He fucking blew it. Oh, no. Can you see that? So it's the bottom of the ninth. We have two runs against already. Giants looking for another ninth no inning or late the game comeback. Out number two. No. Uh. Huh. Ooh. Hit that pump rain is low. Chasing. Got you. Circle change. Got a little bit away from me. Not the greatest of release points, but uh, strikeout number three. Rojas is starting at second due to extra inning rules. You may want to replace him. Put Duran in. Esquel Duran coming in. At second, Jake McCarthy up, lines out. Guriel, he's due for a hit, he grounds out. Otani hits a single guy on first, and third, Bichette grounds out. Fuck. Good pitching change in here. Helsley, come on in. Jastrzemski, up to bat with Tyler Wade he's on straight. second. Jastrzemski hits a single, and they The Giants again, dude. Oh, those bastards. These fucking bastards. First batter of the fucking inning. And I, ugh. Ugh. One run lead, hater. We're not, you can't blow it this time, dude. You just can't. This, we got to get the save here in order to split the series with San Francisco. All right, our team has only Leading lost up. like three China. series, three or four series all team. season. Yeah. I am not going to fucking lose oh to San Francisco. Oh. Fuck you off, that's a strike. Josh Hader tied for fourth in the league for saves. Alexis Diaz, 24 saves, running away with it at, for the Reds. Oh, that's off the plate. Bichette to first, out number one. The batter, the second baseman, Tyro Estrada. So Theo, Theo, Theo Estrada now up. He's having a good season, good breakout season for the Giants this year. In real life, is what we're talking about. It's going to be struck out here by me in a second. Gotcha! Fuck you! Sit down! And Wilmer Flores, you want me? Got away from me. Got away from me. All good. All good. Throw a little, little bit inside here. Good release point slider fouled off. Boomer Flores. I'm sorry, I'm going to have to strike you out, buddy. Two balls. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Throwing all the pitches inside. 
because now we're going to go outside. Did he go? Yes, he did! Fuck you! And we get the dub, split the series. Hater comes back a day later and gets the save. He's now sitting alone in fourth. He might be tied. I think he's tied now for third in the league for saves this season, which is huge. Fucking huge. So let's keep on moving. We got one more year series against the Detroit uh, Tigers. And then we're going to take a look around the, around our team and the league and whatnot, see what's happening. So we got the Detroit Tigers still on the road. So heading from the West Coast, San Fran, all the way to Detroit. They are 26 and 30 right now. Big win, big win. Bottom of the ninth. Chafin's already pitched one inning, but they want me to come on in. All right, so this is for the chance to potentially sweep them in the series. That's what's happening here. So the reason we're coming in is because we got a chance to sweep them. Leading up for the Tigers. So Akil Badu. Badu. I haven't pitched with Chafin in what feels like forever. He's like our uh it's like our secret weapon. No, that meant... Teams just forget that we have him, and we bring him in and just strikes fuckers out like that. Akil Badu down swinging. The center field. Matt Beerling. Gonna throw that same pitch inside. Slider down in the corner. Been throwing that to everybody just about. High sinker. Oh. We'll lay off. Good eye, good eye. Try a low sinker. Swing and miss. And then a high fastball. Two, two. Too high. Too high. Sinker nice and low. Fouled off. We want to sink her way inside. How are we looking? How are we looking? We throw in a lot of sinkers. One slider, one four seam. Get him with that four seam in the upper corner. All right. He's hitting everything inside. If I remember, all of his fouls have been those inside pitches. So let's see if we can get him with the slider inside. Not gonna let it go. Four seam low and away. Take your best, Fuck. It's alright. It's alright, Chafin. That was not a bad thing. Start him off with that slider again, nice and low. He crushed it, so they might have uh, been informed. Hey, he likes to throw that slider nice and low. So now let's throw it on the other side of the plate. That's the ball, outside. Trying to slide it in there, no good. Sinker, blowing away. Let's try to get him with that fastball up high. Oh, on the fucking corner. Going right back to it. Space hit. Can't go back to it. Sinker low. Strike three. Man on first and second. The catcher, number Chafin against Eric Haas. He grounded out earlier. Slider got away from us, but it worked. Try that same pitch since he didn't get into that same location. That one, yeah, his control's starting to get away from him. Ball. Good sinker. High fastball. Ball. Not gonna chase. Oh, third that was a ball? That third pitch was a ball? Fuck you. 
I only threw that fastball up high for the punch out. Slider on the other side, backdoor slider. Backdoor slider. Alright, so Corbin Carroll up. We got a man on second. Let's see if we can manage our way here. Mateo on second. Carroll on first. I mean, Carroll at the bat. He grounds out. De La Santo strikes out. Rojas grounds out. We're going to take out you for Genesis Cabrera. Up against Candelario. He grounds out, but does move out Haas. He grounds out. Dale... Uh, De David Dale gets caught stealing after he gets walked, I what I believe was walked. So Rojas is on second. Uh... Ladies and gentlemen, Let's go with Alec Thomas. So Alec Thomas is now now over on second. second. McCarthy up Number to bat. Five. Hit and run. There we go. McCarthy scores one in. We now have the lead. Guriel hits a single. Man on first and second. Otani struck out. And Bichette hits into a fielder's choice. That's going to get the lead man over on third. Moreno strikes out. Now that we got the lead, everybody knows Josh Hader Number is coming down. in. Fly out. Baez strikes out. Badu pops out. We get the 6-5 to five win. Josh Hader's a fucking monster. He's getting comfortable here. He's getting comfortable here. All right. So we're going to exit out. Big dub against Detroit. That confirms the series sweep. As well, Genesis Cabrera gets his, I think it was his first dub, first win of the season for Genesis Cabrera. Huge, fucking huge. So let's take a look real quick. Uh, the Rays called up center fielder Jose Siri to the majors. All right. Any trades happening? Yeah, there's been some trades. All right, so look it around. Let's start from the beginning. So, first trade of the season, the Rangers acquired center fielder Christian Franklin from the Cubs for shortstop Thomas Seguiz. The Guardians acquired Willie Adams from the Brewers for Stephen Kwan and Nick Gordon. That was a big blockbuster trade we heard about. The Rays acquire third baseman Malcolm Nunez from the Pirates for second baseman Carlos Colmenares. Col Colmenares. The Pirates acquire relief pitcher Jonathan Hernandez from the Rangers for center fielder, center fielder Matt Gorski. The Dodgers acquire third baseman Junior Caminero from the Rays for relief pitcher Yency Almonte. The Mariners acquire relief pitcher Connor Brogdon from the Phillies for catcher Cooper Hummin or Hummel. The Yankees acquire shortstop Gavin Lux from the Twins for starting pitcher Clark Schmidt. Then they get to our trade with the Dodgers. The Rays acquire first baseman Nathaniel Lowe from the Rangers. For center fielder Josh Lowe and relief pitcher Pete Fairbank. The Braves acquire right fielder Ramon Loreno from the Rangers for Travis Denard. And then the Phillies acquire second baseman Bryson Scott from the Royals for starting pitcher Mike Abel. Wow, so the Rangers seem to be sellers. Are they uh are they not doing too good? The Rangers are in a wild card spot. They're sending out so many players. I don't understand. I really don't. So who had a good month of May? Andy Pages never got it going during May. Struggled, uh, that right fielder. Struggled to get a 100 batting average over 60 at bats. Yikes. Blake Waltson uh, was hit hard in May, posting a 9.72 ERA while issuing 13 free passes in 25 innings of work. Buddy Kennedy, uh, Kennedy tore it up in May, posting a 311 in 90 at bats while driving in 10 runs. That's good for double A. Triple A's Jordan Lawler racked in May, posting a 340 average in 47 at bats while driving in three runs. And then the rookie Robert Gomez had a strong month of May, posting a 1.04 ERA, punching out 12 batters across 8.2 innings. All right, he is up to a 70 overall, 18 saves, 
one blown save. He's fucking killing it down there. Our team is fucking killing it. Uh, player of the month. All right, for the American lead, pitcher of the month went to Shane McCallahan. Went five and one, six games, 1.13 ERA, and 50 strikeouts. Uh, for the second month in a row, player of the month goes to Aaron Judge, putting up even better numbers than before. 93 at bats, batting 387, nine home runs, and 20 RBIs. Rookie of the month goes to Mac Schumann, 68 at bats, 279, one home run, and six. I'm um, uh, yeah, six RBI. So for the second month in a row, fucking they get the same rookie of the month for the AL and player of the month in the AL. Jesus. Over in the NL for the month of May, pitcher of the month goes to Hunter Green. Went five and one across six games, 2.61 ERA, 39 strikeouts. Player of the month will go to Bryce Harper, 102 at bats, batting 373, 13 home runs, and 28 RBIs. And then rookie of the month goes to Justin Swanson, 109 at bats, batting 339, six home runs, and 22. RBIs. So that is it for the players. How are we looking top prospect wise? We got the 7th, the 11th, 12th, 14th. So he moved up actually. How's he batting? 263 went down from 300 to 263, but he is running away with uh, development ever since he's come over here, I feel like. What was he before? No, he's always been a 69. Never mind. He's not running away with development. Uh, Adrian Fabergas still up there. Zero ERA. Yeah. So I like to see. So keep on moving. Robert Gomez, number 38. That's going to be it. All right. So looking at our lineup, Jake McCarthy, 296. Okay. That's not bad. Gariel's good. Otani's getting a little bit better of uh, a little bit better of a bat, too. Oh, this is dangerous. 10 home runs, 11 home runs, 10 home runs. Oh, my God. Uh, Rojas getting his batting average back up there, 239. He might be a second-half player. Corbin Carroll up to 253, up to 78 overall. I like this dude, though. Division de Los Santos has been fucking killing it. Killing it. Plus six contact against righties right now. Uh, against lefties, what are these guys doing? Curtis Mead, 282 still. Good. He's developing nicely. He's up to a 70 overall. Alec Thomas, 214. And Duran to Hundo. Uh, I think everything is going to be fine. 318 for Christian Walker right now. Yeah. Veteran Christian Walker fucking killing it. And league leader. So I'm, this is going to be it for the episode. I am going to end it here. Um, if you guys have any suggestions of what we should be doing, any lineup changes. Oh, I didn't even look at the fucking pitchers. You know what? We'll lead off the next episode looking at our fucking pitchers. Uh, but either way, guys, I will talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.